What's up everybody? So I have a quick video for you. I have my trusty DeWalt that I've had for many, many years. Uh, I have no idea how long, how old this thing is, but I've had it for a really long time. Um, it's developed a wobble uh, when it runs. So I'm not sure if you can see it in this part of the video, but it actually does wobble a lot um, when I'm using it. And plus, when you lift off the piece and it's running, it's supposed to it's kind of slow down the pad, but that doesn't happen anymore. So I've already actually taken this thing apart and what it's missing are some springs that push the brake against this bottom pad and also the brake itself is kind of wearing down. I'm going to replace those pieces today. Okay, so I have my DeWalt unplugged as you can see here. First thing I do is pull off the old sanding disc. And you can see here there's three screws holding this pad on. You can use either a flathead or a Torx. I have a Torx that fits just right. So let me take this off. All right, that's unscrewed. And you can just lift this off of here. And that is the Velcro pad. And then on this particular model, here's the brake that actually rubs against this portion of this pad. So I take the brake off and here's where my problem is. And I've already had this thing apart once so I know what's going on. Um, if you can see here, there's a spring right here. This spring actually holds tension against this part to push the pad out against this right here. And it kind of pushes against it. So when I let off, this is supposed to kind of slow this down by creating friction right here. Well, since the pads, the springs are worn out, this one's breaking. This one's kind of okay. And this one's actually completely broken. It actually has a little piece of it down in there. So that she hit it, that spring broke. So what I did was I went on Amazon and found the part I need. So I picked up two springs, a new brake, and a new um, hook loop pad or Velcro pad. So I'm going to replace all three. This old uh, Velcro pad's not quite worn out. It's starting to wear out in the center, but um, because of the way I use the pad on my yard art pieces, it wears out the center way before anything else. This one's in okay shape, but I'm going to go ahead and just save this one as a backup. So to take these screws out, you just have to push them through like that all right so i have the three screws out of the way let me get the the new stuff opened up real quick okay here's the new pieces here's the old pieces and of course i don't have any old springs because they're pretty much broken so here's the new springs i haven't put this together before so this will be a learning experience for everybody here so let me put the old pieces away and let me flip this brake over and see if I can figure out how to put these springs in here. So I'm assuming this is going to go like this because it stays in the circle. Um, if it's stuck out this way, that wouldn't make any sense. So let me flip it around. Um, just kind of looking at this, it looks like I have to catch the outside at an angle and then slap, um, kind of click it in place pushing it downwards. So let me do that here. Let's see, and just use my fingers here. I can't use my fingers. So let me try it with a screwdriver real quick. All right, there are no instructions with this. So I'm just kind of going for it here. So this is slowly going in there. So what it's, what it's doing is that the in, or the outside edge goes underneath these two plastic pieces. I'm not sure if you can see that very well. And um, these two vertical plastic pieces are actually kind of getting wedged against that spring as you push it down in there. So I'm pushing it on the inside of the circle or the inside of the spring towards the inside of the circle. I'm just pushing it till it bottoms out. I think that's it. 
looking at the other sides, it does have a little, I'm not sure if you can see that in the video, but there's a little lip down here in the center. And there's those two vertical pieces that it kind of locks against. So what I was trying to do is get that bottom part of that spring just beyond that lip in the center. So it seems to lock it in place. I think that's it. And let me repeat the process the other side. Again, push it underneath the outside pieces. And on the inside, just push it down. Sort of wedging it in there. Okay, cool. I think that's it. Um, you can see there's there's a huge difference between the old one and the new one. Now the old one, I actually bent this downwards, um, trying to add some more life to it. I bent it out, pulled it away from here, and I kind of curved it in there with a pair of pliers, just trying to add some more life to the springs. And um, finally bit the bullet and had to buy these new ones. All right, so with this in place, now all you have to do is assemble it back together. Again, this is going to rub against the hook loop pad and Velcro pad, hook loop. Um, it'll break against here, against this rubber piece here. So that's how it's going to stop. And to put it in place, um, I'm just going to push it down. So it has these little bumpers. These bumpers go in these slots so that's the only thing you have to line up is make sure the bumpers fit inside there that keeps um, this brake from spinning so you kind of push that down there hold it down while you line this up with the holes all right so i have that lined up with the holes nope no i don't And that lined up the holes now, and I can start putting the screws in place. All right, finished up. Let me put a pad on here and try it out. I'm going to use the same pad I had on here before. Line up the holes. Get everything out of the way. And I'll plug it in. Okay, we got everything plugged in. Got the uh, sanding disc back on here. First thing, let me see if it actually doesn't spin as fast. Sometimes it was going like 100 miles an hour, it seemed. Other times it's not quite as fast, but I think the brake was sometimes working, sometimes not. With the new brake and the new spring on here, it should actually make it work as if it were brand new again. Awesome. It's fixed. Well, there you go. I was able to fix my old DeWalt. I changed out the brake and replaced the springs on that new brake. I wish it came with springs, but that's okay. And then I went ahead and changed out the hook loop or Velcro pad on the bottom. Um, forgot I might as well do that too, just so I have a whole new um, base of this thing. So as you can see, it was really easy to do. I will leave a link in the description of the parts that I use for this particular model. Um, it may help you, it may not, but anyway, I appreciate you watching. See you next time.